Table of Contents Introduction Welcome and Purpose of the Book Chapter 1 The Foundations of Effective Patient Care 1.1 The Role of a Physical Therapist 1.2 Developing Clinical Excellence 1.3 Ethical Considerations in Patient Care Chapter 2 Building Therapeutic Relationships 2.1 The Importance of Rapport and Trust 2.2 Effective Communication Skills 2.3 Active Listening and Empathy Chapter 3 Managing Family Life and Work Life Balance 3.1 Balancing Personal and Professional Priorities 3.2 Strategies for Time Management 3.3 Self Care and Preventing Burnout Chapter 4 Collaborating with Colleagues and Healthcare Teams 4.1 The Significance of Interdisciplinary Collaboration 4.2 Effective Teamwork Strategies 4.3 Conflict Resolution and Problem Solving Chapter 5 The Power of Patient Education 5.1 Empowering Patients Through Knowledge 5.2 Effective Communication in Patient Education 5.3 Promoting Patient Engagement and Adherence Chapter 6 Beyond Clinical Skills Additional Skills for Effective Patient Care 6.1 Empathy and Compassion in Patient Care 6.2 Critical Thinking and Problem Solving 6.3 Professional Development and Lifelong Learning Chapter 7 Enhancing Cultural Competence in Patient Care 7.1 Understanding Cultural Diversity in Healthcare 7.2 Providing Culturally Sensitive Care 7.3 Addressing Cultural Barriers and Biases Chapter 8 The Art of Outcome Measurement and Documentation 8.1 Importance of Outcome Measurement in Physical Therapy 8.2 Selecting and Implementing Outcome Measures 8.3 Effective Documentation and Record Keeping Chapter 9 Navigating Ethical Challenges in Patient Care 9.1 Ethical Decision Making in Physical Therapy 9.2 Maintaining Professional Boundaries 9.3 Confidentiality and Privacy Considerations Chapter 10 The Continuum of Professional Growth 10.1 Lifelong Learning in Physical Therapy 10.2 Mentorship and Professional Networking 10.3 Leadership and Advocacy in the Field Conclusion and Thanks Note Appendix Resources for Further Learning Recommended books, journals, and online resources. Professional organizations and conferences. Acknowledgements. Index. Please note that the chapter titles and subtopics provided above are for illustrative purposes and can be modified to align with the specific content covered in the book. Introduction. Mastering the Art of Effective Patient Care, a Guide for Physical Therapists. Welcome to Mastering the Art of Effective Patient Care, a comprehensive guide designed to empower physical therapists with the knowledge, skills, and mindset necessary to provide exceptional care to their patients. This book is a testament to the importance of not only clinical expertise but also the humanistic qualities that define the art of compassionate healthcare. As a physical therapist, you are entrusted with the well-being and rehabilitation of individuals seeking your expertise. The journey of a physical therapist is a unique one, filled with challenges, triumphs, and profound connections with patients. This book aims to support you on this journey by exploring the foundational principles, practical strategies, and invaluable insights that will enable you to deliver patient-centered care that goes beyond mere technical proficiency. In these pages, we delve into the core aspects of effective patient care, emphasizing the significance of building therapeutic relationships, developing strong communication skills, and understanding the power of empathy. We address the challenges of balancing a fulfilling personal life with the demands of a career in healthcare, offering practical guidance for work-life integration and self-care. Furthermore, we recognize the vital role of collaboration and teamwork in optimizing patient outcomes. We discuss strategies for effectively collaborating with colleagues and healthcare teams, resolving conflicts, and fostering a supportive and collaborative work environment. We also explore the importance of patient education, empowering patients with knowledge and promoting their active participation in their own care. In addition to these fundamental aspects, we delve into topics such as cultural competence, ethical considerations, outcome measurement, and professional growth. Each chapter is crafted to provide you with valuable insights, practical tips, and thought-provoking scenarios that will enhance your ability to navigate the complexities of patient care. It is our belief that the art of effective patient care goes beyond technical skills and clinical knowledge. 
It encompasses the ability to listen attentively, connect empathetically, and treat patients holistically, addressing their physical, emotional, and social well-being. By mastering this art, you can positively impact the lives of your patients, helping them achieve their goals and enhance their quality of life. This book is not only a guide but also an invitation to embark on a transformative journey of self-discovery and growth as a physical therapist. It is a call to embrace the art of compassionate care, to continually learn and evolve, and to make a lasting difference in the lives of those you serve. We extend our deepest gratitude to the patients, colleagues, mentors, and healthcare professionals who have contributed their insights, experiences, and support, shaping the content of this book. Your stories, wisdom, and dedication to exceptional patient care have inspired us and continue to inspire the next generation of physical therapists. So, let us embark together on this journey of mastering the art of effective patient care. May this book empower you to integrate your clinical expertise with compassion, communication, collaboration, and continuous growth, ultimately transforming you into an exceptional physical therapist who makes a lasting impact in the lives of your patients. Welcome to Mastering the Art of Effective Patient Care. Chapter 1. The Foundations of Effective Patient Care. 1.1 The Role of a Physical Therapist. In this chapter, we explore the fundamental role of a physical therapist in the healthcare system. We discuss the responsibilities and scope of practice, highlighting the unique contributions that physical therapists make to the well-being of their patients. Understanding your role as a physical therapist is crucial in providing effective patient care, as it sets the foundation for the principles and skills discussed throughout the book. We delve into the importance of patient-centered care, emphasizing the need to view patients as active participants in their own rehabilitation journey. By recognizing the individuality and autonomy of each patient, you can tailor treatment plans to meet their specific needs, preferences, and goals. We also explore the collaborative nature of physical therapy, including the significance of interdisciplinary teamwork and communication with other healthcare professionals. 1.2 Developing Clinical Excellence In this section, we emphasize the importance of clinical excellence in providing effective patient care. We discuss the ongoing process of professional development, encouraging you to pursue lifelong learning to stay up to date with advancements in the field. We explore strategies for enhancing clinical skills, such as attending continuing education courses, participating in mentorship programs, and seeking out opportunities for hands-on experience. Additionally, we delve into the concept of evidence-based practice and its role in ensuring the highest quality of care. We emphasize the importance of staying abreast of current research, critically evaluating scientific literature, and integrating evidence into clinical decision-making. By developing and refining your clinical excellence, you can confidently assess, diagnose, and treat a wide range of patient conditions, leading to improved outcomes. 1.3 Ethical Considerations in Patient Care Ethics plays a pivotal role in the practice of healthcare, and physical therapy is no exception. In this section, we explore the ethical considerations that arise in the context of patient care. We discuss principles such as beneficence, non-maleficence, autonomy, and justice, and how they guide ethical decision-making. We address topics such as informed consent, confidentiality, and privacy, emphasizing the importance of upholding ethical standards in all aspects of patient care. We explore scenarios that may present ethical dilemmas and offer strategies for navigating them while maintaining patient welfare and professional integrity. Furthermore, we examine the ethical implications of cultural competence and the importance of providing culturally sensitive care. Understanding and respecting the cultural backgrounds, beliefs, and values of your patients are essential in fostering trust, promoting effective communication, and delivering patient-centered care. By establishing a strong foundation in the role of a physical therapist, developing clinical excellence, and adhering to ethical principles, you lay the groundwork for providing effective patient care. These foundational elements will guide you throughout your career, ensuring that you approach patient interactions with professionalism, empathy, and a commitment to ethical conduct. By mastering the foundations of effective patient care, you set yourself up for success in building strong therapeutic relationships, enhancing clinical skills, and navigating the complexities of healthcare with integrity and compassion. The principles discussed in this chapter will serve as a solid framework for the subsequent chapters, where we will delve deeper into the skills and strategies that contribute to effective patient care. Chapter 2. Building Therapeutic Relationships 
2.1 The Importance of Rapport and Trust In this chapter, we explore the significance of building strong therapeutic relationships with your patients. We discuss how establishing rapport and trust forms the foundation for effective patient care. By fostering a positive and trusting relationship, you create an environment where patients feel comfortable expressing their concerns, collaborating in their treatment, and actively engaging in their rehabilitation process. We delve into the importance of empathy and compassion in establishing rapport with patients. Empathy allows you to understand and share in the emotions and experiences of your patients, fostering a sense of connection and mutual understanding. We explore strategies for developing empathy, such as active imagination, perspective taking, and open-mindedness. Furthermore, we discuss the role of professionalism in building trust with patients. This includes demonstrating respect, maintaining confidentiality, and being transparent in your communication. By upholding the highest standards of professionalism, you create an environment where patients feel confident in your abilities and trust in your guidance. 2.2 Effective Communication Skills Communication is a fundamental aspect of building therapeutic relationships. In this section, we delve into the skills and strategies that contribute to effective communication with patients. We explore verbal and non-verbal communication techniques, emphasizing the importance of clarity, attentiveness, and cultural sensitivity. We discuss the significance of using plain language and avoiding medical jargon to ensure that patients fully comprehend their condition, treatment options, and self-care instructions. We also address the importance of non-verbal cues such as body language, facial expressions, and eye contact, which can convey empathy, interest, and active engagement. Moreover, we explore the use of open-ended questions, reflective listening, and summarizing techniques to facilitate meaningful dialogue with patients. These communication skills allow you to gather comprehensive information, understand patients' perspectives, and address their concerns effectively. 2.3 Active Listening and Empathy Active listening and empathy are critical components of building therapeutic relationships and understanding patients' needs. In this section, we delve into the art of active listening, which involves giving undivided attention to the patient, focusing on their verbal and non-verbal cues, and suspending judgment. We explore techniques such as paraphrasing, clarifying, and validating to demonstrate active listening and show patients that their concerns are heard and understood. We also emphasize the importance of maintaining an empathetic mindset, putting yourself in the shoes of the patient, and demonstrating genuine care and concern. We discuss the benefits of empathy in patient care, including increased patient satisfaction, improved treatment outcomes, and enhanced patient adherence. We provide practical strategies for cultivating empathy, such as practicing self-reflection, seeking diverse perspectives, and fostering a supportive and compassionate work environment. By mastering effective communication skills, active listening, and empathy, you can establish strong therapeutic relationships with your patients. These relationships promote collaboration, trust, and shared decision-making, ultimately leading to better patient outcomes. The skills and strategies discussed in this chapter will empower you to create a patient-centered care environment, where patients feel valued, heard, and supported throughout their rehabilitation journey. Building therapeutic relationships is not only crucial for effective patient care but also brings meaning and fulfillment to your role as a physical therapist. By connecting with your patients on a deeper level and understanding their unique circumstances, you can create a positive impact in their lives and help them achieve their goals. Chapter 3. Managing Family Life and Work-Life Balance 3.1 Balancing Personal and Professional Priorities in this chapter, we delve into the importance of finding a balance between personal and professional priorities as a physical therapist. We recognize that maintaining a healthy work-life balance is essential for your well-being, job satisfaction, and the quality of care you provide to your patients. We explore strategies for identifying and clarifying your personal and professional priorities. Understanding what truly matters to you allows you to make informed decisions about how you allocate your time and energy. We discuss the concept of boundary setting, establishing clear boundaries between work and personal life to ensure that each aspect receives adequate attention. Furthermore, we address the challenges that arise when personal and professional demands compete for your time and attention. We provide guidance on how to manage conflicting priorities, set realistic expectations, and seek support from family, friends, and colleagues. 
By developing effective strategies for balancing personal and professional commitments, you can create a harmonious and fulfilling life both inside and outside of work. 3.2 Strategies for Time Management Time management is a crucial skill for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. In this section, we explore practical strategies and techniques to help you effectively manage your time and maximize productivity. We discuss the importance of setting clear goals and prioritizing tasks based on their urgency and importance. We introduce tools such as to-do lists, calendars, and scheduling techniques to help you organize and allocate your time efficiently. By incorporating these techniques into your daily routine, you can increase your productivity, reduce stress, and create more time for personal activities. Additionally, we address the concept of work efficiency and how to optimize your work processes. We explore strategies such as delegation, task batching, and minimizing distractions to streamline your workflow and improve time utilization. By working smarter, not harder, you can enhance your productivity and create more space for personal and family time. 3.3 Self-Care and Preventing Burnout Self-care is an essential aspect of managing family life and work-life balance. In this section, we emphasize the significance of prioritizing self-care to maintain your physical, mental, and emotional well-being. We discuss the importance of recognizing the signs of burnout and stress, including physical exhaustion, emotional depletion, and decreased job satisfaction. We provide practical strategies for preventing burnout, such as setting boundaries, taking regular breaks, and engaging in activities that promote relaxation and rejuvenation. Moreover, we explore the power of self-reflection and self-awareness in identifying your personal needs and practicing self-care. We discuss the benefits of incorporating healthy habits into your lifestyle, such as regular exercise, nutritious eating, adequate sleep, and mindfulness practices. By taking care of your own well-being, you can ensure that you have the energy and resilience to provide optimal care to your patients and maintain fulfilling relationships with your loved ones. We also address the importance of seeking support and building a strong support network. We explore the benefits of connecting with colleagues, joining professional communities, and seeking mentorship to navigate the challenges of work-life balance. By sharing experiences, seeking guidance, and receiving support from others, you can gain valuable insights and maintain a sense of connection and fulfillment. By implementing effective time management strategies and prioritizing self-care, you can strike a balance between your personal and professional life. Managing family life and work-life balance is an ongoing process that requires conscious effort, adaptability, and self-reflection. The strategies discussed in this chapter will help you create a more fulfilling and sustainable lifestyle, allowing you to thrive both personally and professionally. Chapter 4. Collaborating with Colleagues and Healthcare Teams 4.1 The Significance of Interdisciplinary Collaboration In this chapter, we explore the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in providing effective patient care. We recognize that physical therapists often work as part of a healthcare team, comprising various professionals with different areas of expertise. Understanding the significance of collaborative teamwork is essential for delivering comprehensive and holistic care to patients. We discuss the benefits of interdisciplinary collaboration, including improved patient outcomes, enhanced communication, and shared decision-making. We explore the unique contributions that each team member brings to the table and how their expertise can complement and enrich the patient's treatment journey. Furthermore, we emphasize the importance of developing mutual respect and fostering a culture of collaboration among team members. By recognizing and valuing the expertise and perspectives of other professionals, you can create an environment where interdisciplinary collaboration thrives, benefiting both the patients and the entire healthcare team. 4.2 Effective Teamwork Strategies Effective teamwork is crucial for achieving optimal patient outcomes. In this section, we delve into practical strategies and skills that contribute to effective teamwork within a healthcare setting. We explore the importance of clear communication, emphasizing the need for open and honest dialogue among team members. We discuss the significance of active listening, clear articulation of ideas, and the use of respectful language. By practicing effective communication, you can enhance collaboration, prevent misunderstandings, and facilitate efficient problem solving. Moreover, we discuss the value of shared goals and shared decision-making within the healthcare team. We explore strategies for setting common objectives, establishing a shared vision of patient care, and involving all team members in the decision-making process. 
By promoting a sense of ownership and collaboration, you can create a cohesive and motivated team that works together towards a common purpose. We also address the importance of role clarity within the healthcare team. We explore strategies for defining roles and responsibilities, establishing clear lines of communication, and fostering a supportive and inclusive environment. By understanding and respecting each team member's unique role, you can create a synergy that maximizes the effectiveness of the entire healthcare team. 4.3 Conflict Resolution and Problem Solving Conflict is an inevitable aspect of working in a team environment. In this section, we discuss strategies for effectively managing conflicts and solving problems that arise within the healthcare team. We explore techniques for constructive conflict resolution, such as active listening, empathy, and compromise. We emphasize the importance of addressing conflicts openly and respectfully, focusing on finding mutually beneficial solutions rather than engaging in a win-lose mentality. By effectively managing conflicts, you can maintain a harmonious and productive work environment, allowing the healthcare team to collaborate seamlessly. Furthermore, we address problem-solving strategies that can help overcome challenges and obstacles within the healthcare team. We explore techniques such as brainstorming, critical thinking, and root cause analysis to identify and address underlying issues. By promoting a problem-solving mindset within the team, you can foster continuous improvement and optimize patient care outcomes. We recognize that effective collaboration and teamwork are essential not only within the immediate healthcare team but also across different healthcare settings and disciplines. By actively engaging in collaborative efforts, sharing knowledge and resources, and embracing a patient-centered approach, you can contribute to a healthcare system that prioritizes continuity of care and holistic patient well-being. By mastering the skills and strategies discussed in this chapter, you can become an effective collaborator within the healthcare team, contributing to the delivery of high-quality, comprehensive patient care. Collaborating with colleagues and healthcare teams not only enriches the care you provide but also enhances your professional growth and fosters a positive and supportive work environment. Chapter 5. The Power of Patient Education 5.1 Empowering Patients Through Knowledge In this chapter, we explore the transformative role of patient education in empowering individuals to take an active role in their own healthcare. We emphasize the importance of providing patients with the knowledge and understanding they need to make informed decisions about their treatment, manage their conditions, and maintain their overall well-being. We discuss the benefits of patient education, including improved treatment outcomes, enhanced patient satisfaction, and increased adherence to treatment plans. We explore strategies for tailoring educational materials and sessions to meet the individual needs and preferences of each patient, taking into consideration their cultural background, literacy level, and health literacy. Furthermore, we emphasize the significance of patient-centered education, which involves actively engaging patients in the learning process. By adopting a collaborative approach, you can encourage patients to ask questions, share their concerns, and actively participate in their own care. This collaborative dynamic fosters a sense of ownership and responsibility, empowering patients to make informed decisions and take positive actions towards their health goals. 5.2 Effective Communication in Patient Education Effective communication is a cornerstone of patient education. In this section, we delve into the communication skills and strategies that contribute to successful patient education. We explore the importance of using plain language and avoiding medical jargon when delivering information to patients. Clear and concise communication helps patients understand their conditions, treatment options, and self-care instructions. We discuss the value of using visual aids, demonstrations, and written materials to enhance patient comprehension and retention. Moreover, we emphasize the significance of active listening during patient education sessions. By listening attentively to patients' questions, concerns, and feedback, you can address their individual needs and tailor the educational content accordingly. We discuss techniques such as reflective listening, paraphrasing, and asking open-ended questions to promote meaningful dialogue and ensure patients feel heard and understood. Additionally, we explore the role of non-verbal communication in patient education. Body language, facial expressions, and eye contact can convey empathy, interest, and attentiveness, establishing a trusting and supportive environment for learning. We discuss the importance of maintaining a patient-centered approach, treating each patient as a unique individual, and adapting your communication style to meet their specific needs. 
5.3 Promoting Patient Engagement and Adherence Promoting patient engagement and adherence is a critical aspect of patient education. In this section, we delve into strategies for fostering patient motivation, active participation, and long-term adherence to treatment plans. We discuss the importance of understanding patients' beliefs, values, and personal goals when designing educational interventions. By aligning the educational content with patients' motivations and aspirations, you can increase their engagement and commitment to the recommended interventions. Furthermore, we explore techniques for facilitating behavior change, such as goal setting, action planning, and self-monitoring. We discuss the value of providing patients with practical tools and strategies to overcome barriers and obstacles they may encounter during their rehabilitation journey. By empowering patients with the skills and confidence to navigate challenges, you can enhance their self-efficacy and promote sustained adherence to treatment plans. Additionally, we emphasize the importance of ongoing support and reinforcement throughout the patient's healthcare journey. We discuss the benefits of follow-up sessions, providing educational materials for reference, and involving family members or caregivers in the education process. By fostering a supportive network and providing continuous support, you can increase patient accountability and promote long-term success. By recognizing the power of patient education and implementing effective communication strategies, you can empower patients to take an active role in their healthcare. Patient education not only enhances patient outcomes but also strengthens the therapeutic relationship between the physical therapist and the patient. By fostering a collaborative and patient-centered approach, you can help individuals achieve their health goals and lead healthier, more fulfilling lives. Chapter 6. Beyond Clinical Skills, Additional Skills for Effective Patient Care 6.1 Empathy and Compassion in Patient Care In this chapter, we explore the essential qualities of empathy and compassion in providing effective patient care. We recognize that beyond clinical expertise, these qualities are crucial for building trust, establishing rapport, and delivering compassionate care. We discuss the importance of understanding and empathizing with patients' emotions, experiences, and perspectives. By putting yourself in their shoes, you can create a safe and supportive environment where patients feel heard, validated, and understood. We explore techniques for expressing empathy, such as active listening, acknowledging emotions, and providing validation. Furthermore, we delve into the concept of compassion, which goes beyond understanding and encompasses the genuine desire to alleviate suffering and promote the well-being of patients. We discuss the importance of demonstrating kindness, respect, and sensitivity in all interactions with patients. We explore strategies for fostering a compassionate approach, such as showing empathy, practicing active kindness, and providing emotional support. Moreover, we address the challenges that may arise when working with diverse patient populations, including cultural differences, language barriers, and varying communication styles. We emphasize the importance of cultural competence, which involves understanding and respecting the unique values, beliefs, and practices of different cultures. By cultivating cultural competence, you can enhance your ability to provide patient-centered care and build meaningful connections with patients from diverse backgrounds. 6.2 Critical Thinking and Problem Solving Critical thinking and problem-solving skills are essential for effective patient care. In this section, we explore the role of these skills in clinical decision-making and addressing complex patient situations. We discuss the importance of gathering and analyzing relevant information, synthesizing knowledge from various sources, and making evidence-based decisions. We explore strategies for enhancing critical thinking, such as asking probing questions, seeking alternative perspectives, and challenging assumptions. By honing your critical thinking skills, you can become a more effective problem solver and make informed decisions that optimize patient outcomes. Furthermore, we delve into the concept of clinical reasoning, which involves the ability to analyze patient information, identify patterns, and develop logical treatment plans. We discuss strategies for developing clinical reasoning skills, such as patient case studies, reflective practice, and ongoing professional development. By refining your clinical reasoning abilities, you can enhance your diagnostic accuracy, treatment effectiveness, and patient care outcomes. Additionally, we address the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in problem solving. We discuss the value of consulting with other healthcare professionals, seeking second opinions, and engaging in interdisciplinary discussions to approach complex patient cases from a holistic perspective.
By leveraging the expertise of others, you can broaden your problem-solving capabilities and provide comprehensive care to your patients. 6.3 Professional Development and Lifelong Learning Professional development and lifelong learning are crucial for staying current in the field of physical therapy and continuously improving your practice. In this section, we explore the importance of ongoing learning, skill development, and professional growth. We discuss the value of staying abreast of the latest research, evidence-based practice guidelines, and advancements in the field. We emphasize the importance of continuing education, attending conferences, participating in workshops, and engaging in self-directed learning activities. By expanding your knowledge base, you can provide the most up-to-date and effective care to your patients. Moreover, we explore the concept of reflective practice, which involves critically analyzing your own experiences, strengths, and areas for improvement. We discuss the benefits of self-reflection, seeking feedback from colleagues and patients, and engaging in regular self-assessment. By continuously reflecting on your practice, you can identify opportunities for growth and development and refine your skills as a physical therapist. Additionally, we address the importance of professional networking and mentorship in fostering professional development. We discuss the benefits of connecting with colleagues, joining professional associations, and seeking mentorship from experienced practitioners. By engaging in professional networks and seeking mentorship, you can gain valuable insights, guidance, and support from others in the field. These connections can provide opportunities for collaboration, knowledge sharing, and career advancement. Furthermore, we discuss the importance of maintaining a growth mindset and embracing a lifelong learning attitude. The field of physical therapy is constantly evolving, and it is essential to adapt to new techniques, technologies, and treatment approaches. We explore strategies for staying motivated and engaged in the learning process, such as setting learning goals, establishing a study routine, and seeking opportunities for interdisciplinary collaboration. We also address the ethical considerations in professional development, emphasizing the importance of adhering to professional standards, codes of conduct, and ethical guidelines. We discuss the ethical responsibilities of a physical therapist in terms of continuing education, patient privacy and confidentiality, and maintaining professional boundaries. By recognizing the value of empathy and compassion, honing critical thinking and problem-solving skills, and embracing a mindset of continuous learning and professional growth, you can elevate your practice as a physical therapist. These additional skills go beyond clinical expertise and contribute to providing holistic, patient-centered care. Conclusion. In this chapter, we explored the importance of empathy and compassion in patient care, the role of critical thinking and problem solving in clinical decision making, and the significance of ongoing professional development and lifelong learning. These skills, along with your clinical expertise, contribute to providing effective and comprehensive patient care. By developing strong relationships with your patients based on empathy, trust, and clear communication, you create an environment where patients feel valued, understood, and motivated to actively participate in their own care. By honing your critical thinking skills, you can make informed decisions and address complex patient situations with confidence. By embracing lifelong learning and professional development, you ensure that your practice remains up-to-date, evidence-based, and aligned with the evolving healthcare landscape. By integrating these additional skills into your practice as a physical therapist, you can elevate the quality of care you provide, improve patient outcomes, and cultivate a fulfilling and rewarding professional journey. In the next chapters, we will explore other essential aspects of being an effective physical therapist, including specific treatment techniques, injury management, and patient education strategies. Together, these chapters will equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to excel in your career and make a positive impact on the lives of your patients. Chapter 7. Enhancing Cultural Competence in Patient Care 7.1 Understanding Cultural Diversity in Healthcare In this chapter, we delve into the importance of cultural competence in providing effective and equitable patient care. We recognize the diversity of patient populations and the influence of culture on healthcare beliefs, practices, and preferences. We discuss the need for healthcare professionals to understand and appreciate the cultural backgrounds of their patients. We explore the concept of cultural diversity, which encompasses factors such as ethnicity, race, language, religion, socioeconomic status, and individual beliefs and values. 
By recognizing and respecting cultural diversity, you can build trust, establish rapport, and provide culturally responsive care. Furthermore, we discuss the impact of cultural factors on health disparities and healthcare outcomes. We explore how cultural beliefs and practices may influence patient behaviors, treatment preferences, and healthcare seeking patterns. By understanding these influences, you can tailor your approach to align with patients' cultural needs and preferences, ultimately improving patient satisfaction and treatment adherence. 7.2 Providing Culturally Sensitive Care Culturally sensitive care is essential for promoting positive patient experiences and outcomes. In this section, we explore strategies for providing care that respects and accommodates diverse cultural backgrounds. We discuss the significance of cultural humility, which involves recognizing and acknowledging your own cultural biases, limitations, and the potential impact they may have on patient care. We explore techniques for developing cultural humility, such as self-reflection, seeking feedback, and engaging in ongoing cultural competency training. By cultivating cultural humility, you can approach patient interactions with an open mind, curiosity, and a willingness to learn. Moreover, we explore strategies for effective cross-cultural communication. We discuss the importance of using clear and simple language, utilizing interpreters when necessary, and adapting communication styles to meet the needs of patients from diverse cultural backgrounds. We emphasize the value of active listening, asking culturally sensitive questions, and being mindful of non-verbal cues. Additionally, we address the importance of incorporating cultural beliefs, practices, and preferences into the treatment plan. We explore the concept of patient-centered care, which involves actively involving patients in their own care, respecting their autonomy, and integrating their cultural values into the decision-making process. By embracing cultural diversity and tailoring treatment plans to individual patients, you can enhance patient engagement, satisfaction, and treatment outcomes. 7.3 Addressing Cultural Barriers and Biases Cultural barriers and biases can pose challenges in delivering culturally competent care. In this section, we explore strategies for recognizing and addressing these barriers to ensure equitable and inclusive patient care. We discuss the importance of self-awareness in identifying and challenging personal biases and stereotypes. By examining your own beliefs and assumptions, you can avoid potential biases that may affect patient interactions and treatment decisions. We explore techniques for increasing self-awareness, such as reflective practice, cultural sensitivity training, and engaging in open and honest discussions with colleagues. Furthermore, we address the concept of unconscious bias, which refers to implicit biases that may influence our perceptions and decision-making processes without our awareness. We discuss strategies for mitigating unconscious bias, such as mindfulness techniques, seeking diverse perspectives, and creating a culture of inclusivity within the healthcare team. By addressing unconscious biases, you can provide fair and unbiased care to all patients, regardless of their cultural backgrounds. Additionally, we explore techniques for addressing cultural barriers that may impede effective communication and understanding. We discuss the importance of patience, empathy, and adaptability when encountering cultural differences. We explore strategies for building trust and rapport with patients from diverse cultures, such as seeking cultural mediators, incorporating cultural brokers, and collaborating with community resources. By proactively addressing cultural barriers, you can create a supportive and inclusive environment where patients feel valued and understood. By enhancing cultural competence in patient care, you can promote equity, inclusivity, and patient-centeredness in your tart respects and accommodates the unique cultural needs of each individual. By understanding cultural diversity, providing culturally sensitive care, and addressing cultural barriers and biases, you can contribute to reducing healthcare disparities and promoting equitable and inclusive healthcare practices. In the next chapters, we will continue to explore essential aspects of effective patient care, including specific treatment techniques, ethical considerations, and professional development. Together, these chapters will provide you with the knowledge and skills necessary to provide comprehensive and culturally competent care to a diverse range of patients. In the next chapters, we will continue to explore essential aspects of effective patient care, including specific treatment techniques, ethical considerations, and professional development. Together, these chapters will provide you with the knowledge and skills necessary to provide comprehensive and culturally competent care to a diverse range of patients. Chapter 8. 
The Art of Outcome Measurement and Documentation 8.1 Importance of Outcome Measurement in Physical Therapy In this chapter, we explore the importance of outcome measurement in physical therapy and its role in assessing the effectiveness of interventions, tracking progress, and demonstrating the value of physical therapy services. We discuss the significance of setting measurable goals and using standardized outcome measures to evaluate patient outcomes. We emphasize the benefits of objective data in guiding clinical decision-making, monitoring treatment effectiveness, and adjusting intervention plans as needed. By implementing outcome measurement tools, you can provide evidence-based care, optimize patient outcomes, and contribute to the overall advancement of the field of physical therapy. Furthermore, we discuss the relevance of patient-reported outcome measures, PROMS, in capturing patients' perspectives and experiences. We explore the benefits of incorporating PROMS into practice, such as enhancing patient engagement, improving communication, and tailoring interventions to meet individual needs. By valuing patient-reported outcomes, you can ensure patient-centered care and foster shared decision-making. 8.2 Selecting and Implementing Outcome Measures Selecting and implementing appropriate outcome measures is crucial for accurately capturing and documenting patient progress. In this section, we delve into the process of selecting and using outcome measures effectively. We discuss the importance of considering the specific goals, conditions, and needs of each patient when selecting outcome measures. We explore various types of outcome measures, such as functional assessments, pain scales, and quality of life measures, and their applicability to different patient populations. By selecting measures that align with patients' needs and treatment objectives, you can obtain meaningful data that reflects the desired outcomes. Moreover, we address the process of implementing outcome measures in clinical practice. We discuss strategies for integrating measurement tools seamlessly into patient assessments, treatment plans, and progress tracking. We emphasize the importance of standardized administration, scoring, and interpretation of outcome measures to ensure consistency and reliability of data. By implementing outcome measures effectively, you can streamline the measurement process and maximize the utility of the collected data. Additionally, we explore the role of technology in outcome measurement. We discuss the benefits of electronic data capture systems, digital platforms, and mobile applications in simplifying data collection, enhancing accuracy, and facilitating data analysis. By leveraging technology, you can streamline the outcome measurement process, improve efficiency, and access real-time data for informed decision-making. 8.3 Effective Documentation and Record Keeping Accurate and comprehensive documentation is essential for legal, ethical, and clinical purposes. In this section, we explore strategies for effective documentation and record-keeping in physical therapy. We discuss the importance of maintaining clear and organized patient records that include relevant information such as patient demographics, medical history, initial evaluation findings, treatment plans, progress notes, and outcome measures. We emphasize the significance of confidentiality, privacy, and compliance with legal and regulatory requirements when documenting patient information. Furthermore, we address the benefits of using standardized documentation formats and templates to ensure consistency and facilitate data analysis. We discuss the importance of recording objective and subjective findings, treatment interventions, patient responses, and progress updates. By documenting information accurately and consistently, you can create a comprehensive record of the patient's healthcare journey, support continuity of care, and provide a basis for clinical decision-making. Additionally, we explore the importance of timely and thorough documentation. We discuss strategies for efficient and effective documentation, such as utilizing electronic health record systems, employing shorthand techniques, and prioritizing documentation tasks. By maintaining up-to-date and comprehensive records, you can ensure continuity of care, facilitate communication with other healthcare providers, and support accurate billing and reimbursement processes. In conclusion, effective outcome measurement and documentation play a vital role in physical therapy practice. By implementing standardized outcome measures, selecting appropriate assessment tools, and documenting patient information accurately and comprehensively, you can evaluate treatment outcomes, guide clinical decision-making, and demonstrate the value of physical therapy services. By valuing patient-reported outcomes and integrating technology into the measurement and documentation process, you can enhance patient engagement, improve data accuracy, and streamline workflows.
By mastering the art of outcome measurement and documentation, you contribute to evidence-based practice, quality improvement, and the overall advancement of the field of physical therapy. Your ability to track patient progress, demonstrate treatment effectiveness, and communicate outcomes not only benefits individual patients but also contributes to the broader body of knowledge in the field. In the next chapters, we will continue to explore essential aspects of effective patient care, including specific treatment techniques, ethical considerations, and professional development. Together, these chapters will provide you with the knowledge and skills necessary to provide comprehensive, evidence-based, and patient-centered care, while also ensuring accurate documentation and meaningful outcome measurement. We would like to express our sincere appreciation to the readers for embarking on this journey to enhance their skills as physical therapists. The dedication to professional growth and commitment to providing effective patient care are commendable. We hope that this book serves as a valuable resource and guide, equipping you with the knowledge, insights, and practical strategies needed to excel in your practice. We would also like to express our gratitude to the patients and colleagues who have inspired and contributed to our understanding of effective patient care throughout our careers. Their experiences, feedback, and collaboration have shaped the content of this book and enriched our own professional journeys. Finally, we extend our gratitude to the publishers, editors, and everyone involved in bringing this book to life. Your dedication and expertise have been instrumental in turning our vision into a reality. Thank you once again for joining us on this exploration of effective patient care. We hope that the knowledge and skills gained from this book will empower you to make a positive impact on the lives of your patients and contribute to the advancement of the physical therapy profession. Chapter 9. Navigating Ethical Challenges in Patient Care 9.1 Ethical Decision Making in Physical Therapy In this chapter, we explore the complex ethical challenges that physical therapists may encounter in their practice and discuss strategies for making informed and ethical decisions. We discuss the importance of understanding and applying ethical principles, such as autonomy, beneficence, non-maleficence, and justice, in patient care. We explore the ethical frameworks that can guide decision-making, including the principle-based approach, the virtue ethics approach, and the ethics of care approach. By familiarizing yourself with these frameworks, you can navigate ethical dilemmas and make decisions that prioritize the well-being and autonomy of your patients. Moreover, we address the concept of informed consent and its role in ethical practice. We discuss the importance of providing patients with the necessary information to make informed decisions about their care, including the risks, benefits, and alternatives of treatment. We explore strategies for effective communication and shared decision-making to ensure that patients are actively involved in their care and their preferences and values are respected. 9.2 Maintaining Professional Boundaries Maintaining professional boundaries is essential for establishing trust, preserving the therapeutic relationship, and ensuring ethical practice. In this section, we delve into the importance of recognizing and maintaining appropriate professional boundaries in patient care. We discuss the potential challenges and pitfalls that can arise when boundaries are blurred or violated. We explore scenarios where conflicts of interest, dual relationships, or personal connections may compromise the therapeutic relationship and patient outcomes. By understanding the importance of professional boundaries, you can establish clear boundaries, maintain objectivity, and prioritize the best interests of your patients. Furthermore, we address the significance of self-awareness in recognizing and managing boundary issues. We discuss the importance of ongoing self-reflection, supervision, and consultation with colleagues to identify and address any boundary concerns. By maintaining self-awareness and seeking support when needed, you can navigate challenging situations and ensure that your professional conduct aligns with ethical standards. Additionally, we explore strategies for setting and maintaining appropriate boundaries with patients. We discuss the importance of clear communication, establishing professional roles and expectations, and maintaining professional distance. We also address the importance of recognizing and managing the power dynamics inherent in the therapist-patient relationship. By establishing and upholding professional boundaries, you can create a safe and respectful environment for patients to receive care. 9.3 Confidentiality and Privacy Considerations Confidentiality and privacy are essential aspects of ethical patient care. In this section, we explore the importance of safeguarding patient information and ensuring confidentiality. 
we discuss the legal and ethical obligations regarding patient confidentiality, including the Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act, HIPAA, and other applicable privacy laws. We explore the importance of obtaining informed consent for the collection, use, and disclosure of patient information. By understanding and adhering to these regulations, you can protect patient privacy and maintain their trust. Moreover, we address the challenges and considerations related to electronic health records, EHRs, and digital communication. We discuss the importance of secure data storage, password protection, and encryption to safeguard patient information. We explore strategies for effective and secure communication with patients, such as using secure messaging platforms or patient portals. Additionally, we address the concept of confidentiality within interprofessional collaboration. We discuss the importance of sharing patient information on a need-to-know basis and maintaining confidentiality when collaborating with other healthcare providers. By understanding the limits of confidentiality and practicing discretion, you can uphold patient privacy and ensure the appropriate sharing of information for continuity of care. In conclusion, navigating ethical challenges is an integral part of providing patient care as a physical therapist. By applying ethical principles, maintaining professional boundaries, and upholding confidentiality and privacy considerations, you can navigate complex ethical dilemmas, prioritize patient well-being, and uphold the highest standards of ethical practice. This chapter provides you with the knowledge, insights, and strategies to make informed ethical decisions, establish and maintain professional boundaries, and protect patient confidentiality. As physical therapists, you have the privilege and responsibility of caring for individuals in vulnerable and often challenging situations. By embracing ethical practice, you can ensure that your actions are guided by integrity, respect, and the best interests of your patients. Upholding ethical standards not only enhances the quality of care you provide but also contributes to the trust and confidence that patients place in you. We encourage you to reflect on your own ethical beliefs and values, engage in ongoing professional development, and seek guidance when faced with ethical dilemmas. By continuously honing your ethical decision-making skills and fostering a culture of ethical practice within your healthcare team, you can create an environment that prioritizes the well-being and autonomy of your patients. We extend our gratitude to the readers for their commitment to ethical patient care. Your dedication to upholding ethical principles and navigating complex ethical challenges is commendable. We hope that the insights and strategies provided in this chapter will empower you to navigate ethical dilemmas with confidence and integrity. We would also like to express our appreciation to the patients who have entrusted us with their care and shared their experiences, as well as the colleagues who have contributed to our understanding of ethical patient care. Your insights and collaboration have shaped the content of this chapter and enriched our own professional journeys. Lastly, we would like to acknowledge the publishers, editors, and everyone involved in the creation of this book. Your expertise and dedication have been instrumental in bringing this valuable resource to fruition. Thank you for your commitment to ethical patient care and for joining us on this exploration of navigating ethical challenges in physical therapy. We hope that the knowledge gained from this chapter will guide you in making ethical decisions, fostering professional boundaries, and ensuring the privacy and confidentiality of your patients. Together, we can uphold the highest ethical standards and provide compassionate and effective care to those we serve. Chapter 10. The Continuum of Professional Growth 10.1 Lifelong Learning in Physical Therapy In this chapter, we explore the importance of lifelong learning in the field of physical therapy and discuss strategies for professional development and staying current with the latest advancements. We emphasize the dynamic nature of healthcare and the need for continuous learning to provide evidence-based and high-quality care. We discuss the benefits of lifelong learning, including improved clinical skills, enhanced critical thinking, and expanded knowledge base. By embracing lifelong learning, physical therapists can adapt to changes in the field, deliver the best possible care to their patients, and contribute to the advancement of the profession. Moreover, we explore various avenues for lifelong learning, such as continuing education courses, professional conferences, workshops, and webinars. We discuss the importance of staying up to date with research findings, guidelines, and best practices. We also explore the role of self-directed learning, including reading scientific literature, participating in online forums, and engaging in reflective practice. By actively seeking opportunities for learning and growth, 
physical therapists can remain at the forefront of their field. 10.2 Mentorship and Professional Networking Mentorship and professional networking play a significant role in professional growth and development. In this section, we delve into the benefits of mentorship and the importance of building professional networks. We discuss the value of mentorship in providing guidance, support, and advice throughout a physical therapist's career journey. We explore the qualities of effective mentors and the characteristics of successful mentoring relationships. We also emphasize the importance of seeking mentorship opportunities, both formal and informal, to gain insights, learn from experienced professionals, and navigate career challenges. By embracing mentorship, physical therapists can accelerate their professional growth, gain valuable perspectives, and benefit from the wisdom of those who have come before them. Furthermore, we address the significance of professional networking in expanding career opportunities and fostering collaboration. We discuss the benefits of joining professional associations, attending conferences, and engaging in online communities to connect with peers, share knowledge, and collaborate on research and projects. We explore strategies for effective networking, such as active participation in professional events, cultivating meaningful relationships, and leveraging social media platforms. By building a robust professional network, physical therapists can access resources, gain diverse perspectives, and foster professional collaborations. 10.3 Leadership and Advocacy in the Field Leadership and advocacy are vital components of professional growth and the advancement of the physical therapy profession. In this section, we explore the role of leadership and advocacy in driving change and promoting the profession's interests. We discuss the importance of developing leadership skills, regardless of one's position or role within the profession. We explore different leadership styles and the qualities of effective leaders. We emphasize the value of leading by example, fostering a positive work culture, and inspiring others to achieve their full potential. By cultivating leadership skills, physical therapists can contribute to organizational growth, lead interdisciplinary teams, and advocate for patient-centered care. Moreover, we address the significance of advocacy in shaping healthcare policies, promoting equitable access to care, and advancing the profession's goals. We discuss the role of professional associations and advocacy organizations in advocating for legislative changes, reimbursement reform, and scope of practice issues. We explore strategies for effective advocacy, such as engaging with policymakers, participating in grassroots efforts, and utilizing social media platforms for awareness campaigns. By becoming effective advocates, physical therapists can influence policy decisions, improve patient care, and contribute to the greater good of the profession. In conclusion, the continuum of professional growth in physical therapy encompasses lifelong learning, mentorship and professional networking, and leadership and advocacy. By embracing these aspects, physical therapists can continuously expand their knowledge and skills, establish meaningful connections, and contribute to the advancement of the profession. Conclusion In conclusion, this book serves as a comprehensive guide for young generations of physical therapists seeking to enhance their effectiveness in patient care. Throughout the chapters, we have explored various aspects of delivering high-quality care, from the foundations of effective patient care to the additional skills necessary for success in the field. We have discussed the importance of developing clinical excellence, building therapeutic relationships, managing work-life balance, collaborating with colleagues and healthcare teams, empowering patients through education, navigating ethical challenges, embracing lifelong learning, and advocating for the profession. Each chapter provides valuable insights, practical strategies, and real-life examples to help young physical therapists excel in their practice. By implementing the knowledge and skills shared in this book, young physical therapists will be well-equipped to provide compassionate, evidence-based, and patient-centered care. They will be able to establish strong therapeutic relationships, effectively communicate with patients, navigate ethical dilemmas, manage their personal and professional lives, collaborate with interdisciplinary teams, empower patients through education, and continuously grow and develop as professionals. Thanks note. I would like to express my deepest gratitude to all the individuals who have contributed to the creation of this book. First and foremost, I would like to thank my patients, who have entrusted me with their care and have taught me invaluable lessons throughout my career. Their experiences and feedback have shaped the content of this book and have motivated me to continuously improve as a physical therapist. 
I am also grateful to my colleagues and mentors, whose guidance and support have been instrumental in my professional growth. Their expertise, wisdom, and willingness to share their knowledge have greatly influenced the insights and strategies presented in this book. I would like to extend my thanks to the research community and professional organizations for their dedication to advancing the field of physical therapy. Their contributions to evidence-based practice and advocacy efforts have paved the way for improved patient care and have inspired the content of this book. Additionally, I would like to acknowledge the support of my family and friends throughout the process of writing this book. Their encouragement, patience, and understanding have been invaluable. Lastly, I would like to express my gratitude to the readers of this book. It is my sincere hope that the insights, strategies, and experiences shared within these pages will empower you to provide effective patient care, foster professional growth, and make a positive impact in the lives of your patients. Thank you for embarking on this journey of professional development with me. Together, let us strive for excellence in physical therapy and work towards enhancing the well-being and quality of life for our patients. Appendix. Resources for further learning. This appendix provides a list of recommended books, journals, online resources, professional organizations, and conferences that can serve as valuable sources of further learning and professional development for physical therapists. Recommended books. 1. Physical Rehabilitation, by Susan B. O'Sullivan and Thomas J. Schmitz. 2. Therapeutic Exercise, Foundations and Techniques, by Carolyn Kissner and Lynn Allen Colby. 3. Clinical Decision Making in Physical Therapy, by Gwendolyn Jell, and Moore, Deborah Faller, Jeremy Lewis, and Chris McCarthy. 4. Orthopedic Physical Assessment, by David J. McGee. 5. Evidence-Based Practice in Exercise Science, by William J. Vincent. Recommended Journals. 1. Journal of Orthopedic and Sports Physical Therapy, JOSPT. 2. Physical Therapy Journal, PTJ. 3. Journal of Manual and Manipulative Therapy, JMMT. 4. Journal of Neurologic Physical Therapy, JNPT. 5. Journal of Geriatric Physical Therapy, JGPT. Online Resources. 1. American Physical Therapy Association, AFTER, provides access to resources, research, and professional development opportunities. 2. Physiopedia, an online collaborative platform for physiotherapists, offering a wealth of information, articles, and courses. 3. PubMed, a database of biomedical literature, including research articles and clinical studies relevant to physical therapy. 4. Therapied, offers study materials and resources for physical therapy licensing exams. 5. The Physiotherapy Evidence Database, Pedro, provides access to systematic reviews and clinical practice guidelines in physiotherapy. Professional Organizations. 1. American Physical Therapy Association, AFTER. 2. World Confederation for Physical Therapy, WCPT. 3. Chartered Society of Physiotherapy, CSP. 4. Canadian Physiotherapy Association, CPA. 5. Australian Physiotherapy Association, UPA. Conferences and Continuing Education. 1. After Combined Sections Meeting, CSM. 2. WCPT Congress, held every four years, bringing together physical therapists from around the world. 3. International Federation of Orthopedic Manipulative Physical Therapists, IFOMPT, Conference, focuses on musculoskeletal and manual therapy. 4. National Student Conclave, a conference specifically designed for physical therapy students. 5. Regional and local conferences organized by professional associations and universities. These resources offer opportunities for further learning, professional networking, and staying up to date with the latest advancements in the field of physical therapy. By actively engaging with these resources, physical therapists can continue their professional development and enhance their clinical practice. Please note that the list provided is not exhaustive, and there are many other valuable resources available. It is recommended to explore specific areas of interest within physical therapy and seek out resources tailored to those interests. Remember, the pursuit of knowledge is a lifelong journey, and by embracing continuous learning and staying connected to professional networks, physical therapists can continually grow and provide the best possible care to their patients. Acknowledgements. Writing a book of this magnitude requires the collective efforts and support of numerous individuals. 
I would like to take this opportunity to express my gratitude and acknowledge those who have contributed to the creation of this book. First and foremost, I would like to extend my deepest appreciation to my patients, whose trust, cooperation, and feedback have been invaluable throughout my career as a physical therapist. Their experiences and stories have served as a constant source of inspiration and have shaped the content and focus of this book. I am immensely grateful to my colleagues and mentors who have provided guidance, encouragement, and shared their wealth of knowledge and expertise. Their support has been instrumental in shaping my professional growth and development as a physical therapist. I am indebted to them for their mentorship and continuous encouragement to strive for excellence in patient care. I would also like to thank the professional organizations and research communities who have contributed to the advancement of the field of physical therapy. Their dedication to evidence-based practice, research, and advocacy has been a driving force behind the knowledge and resources presented in this book. To my family and friends, thank you for your unwavering support, understanding, and patience throughout the process of writing this book. Your encouragement and belief in my abilities have kept me motivated and focused. I am grateful for your presence in my life. I extend my appreciation to the publishers, editors, and the entire team involved in the production of this book. Your expertise, attention to detail, and commitment to excellence have been instrumental in bringing this project to fruition. Lastly, I want to express my heartfelt thanks to the readers of this book. It is my sincere hope that the knowledge and insights shared within these pages will be valuable in your journey as a physical therapist and will contribute to the improvement of patient care. Your dedication to the profession and commitment to delivering exceptional care inspire me, and I am grateful for your continued pursuit of excellence. Thank you to each and every individual who has contributed directly or indirectly to the creation of this book. Your support, encouragement, and contributions have been invaluable, and I am deeply grateful for the opportunity to share my knowledge and experiences with you. With profound appreciation. Web links.